love about our Coco. She is beautiful, friendly, lovable, generous, smart, kind, and reliable. She's going to be an amazing mother one day, as if she's not already with their dear pup, Finn. And Courtney is very passionate about what she loves and believes in, and that's faith, family, friends, earrings, and bone broth. True love is waking up at insane hours to go hunting or dressing up for your friends' dorky murder mystery parties, meticulously designing garden grids and making hundreds of tiny little wreaths for your seating chart. And these are all hobbies that I see you guys as your love grows, your hobbies have merged together over the years. Thank you for always being a friend in each season and all that life brings. Congratulations on finding your bestie for life and may you never lose that excitement and desire for marriage that God placed in you at such an early age. Of those who know Courtney, you know she's such a loyal friend. Courtney is the person that will stand by you no matter what, through hell or high water. You really are an amazing friend. And she's the ultimate hype girl, if you ever need a hype girl. <laughs> Scott, you found yourself a good one. But a better note on, on Scott is, is kind of a a shift that I've experienced in the last year and a half, and Scott's gonna have no idea what I'm talking about. Doug, you're gonna for sure know what I'm talking about. It's just this um, shift, and, and I kinda imagine it as a uh, passing of the torch, if you will. And so what I mean by that is I, I met Scott in 2013. He was the chief security officer at his fraternity. And prestigious, absolutely about as high as you get in the, the security role at your fraternity. And fast forward today, I've just noticed such a phenomenal transformation as a, as a man, super impressive man. And the shift that I witness is between, it could be between you know, man and his son, it could be between mom, daughter, you name it. But for this example, it's between Doug and Scott. And I, and I see it. You know, I've never witnessed Doug lean on you more for support, for processing, for everything. It's super cool. Yeah. Anyways. Um, super impressive, man. I love you. We've come together this beautiful, perfect day at the invitation of Scott and Courtney to celebrate their love and the one year anniversary of your marriage. <laughs> in fact, a lot has happened in the world and your guys' lives since your first wedding date. Uh, you both have changed jobs, you've purchased and moved into a new home. We have all endured a global pandemic and shut down from start to finish and you have been married. That is a, that is a lot to have happen, a lot to weather. This is a truly important and sacred commitment you have made to one another. So permit me just a moment of pause to reflect on what it means to be joined together in marriage, in holy matrimony. These words have come to mean very little in our culture today, but I believe we must regain an understanding of them to know what this relationship is truly intended to be. Matrimony is a simple one. It simply means marriage, easy. The descriptive word, the defining ter term here is holy. Holy means to be set apart, to be separate, to be different. This commitment and relationship of marriage is intended to be different than any other relationship you currently have or will ever have with any other person. And I have no doubt that with this love, the support of your family and friends celebrating with you here tonight, your loving Father in heaven, and daily pursuing this image of marriage that you will experience exactly what this gift of holy matrimony is intended to be. Therefore, it is my great pleasure by this power vested in me by the state of California and his bride, the church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Scott, you may kiss your bride. It is now my true honor to introduce to you all for the second time, Mr. and Mrs. Scott and Courtney McBride.
Scott and Courtney, I already spoke to you last night, so I don't want to, you know, drone on about you two like th this evening's about you guys. But Courtney, you already know how I feel about you. And Scott, you already know because I shared it last night and you don't need me to give a speech to tell you that right now. But I'm so proud of you. There's a group that's close to 50 or over 50 and they've been in my life for a long, long time, 20 plus years. And, and a group of us were talking about this two hours ago. And then there's a whole bunch of you. And if you're in that earlier stage, you can, you can have what I have. <laughs> but you don't wake up to it. You commit yourself to it and you never stop asking and what the meaning of this whole deal is until you find the answer to it. And I think there is an answer, but you have to find that. There's an intricate design and you can feel it in this room and you gotta figure out what it is. And then you gotta stay in community with each other. But it's only gonna happen if you stick together. I had a bucket list thing. Uh, my whole life, and everybody has always laughed at me. One day, I'm gonna walk in the backyard playing the bagpipes, and Scott of everybody used to say, oh, please do that. And so, tonight, my first performance, I give you this gift. And then